Hello children! Welcome to our learning activities. I am Teacher Jean and I will be your teacher for today. But before we proceed with our lesson, let us have first a short prayer. Loving Lord, we praise and glorify your name. We are humbly asking for your guidance throughout the day. May we have the wisdom to understand today's lesson. We are thankful that today we are alive and well, that we are given another chance to partake with the fullness of life and most especially to have the opportunity to do good and be of service to mankind. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, very good for that prayer. Now, children, what are your experiences that you find memorable? Our memories of the past matter, like birthday celebrations, family gatherings, and most and previous school experiences. Most probably, you do not want to forget any of them. And you may want to go back and remember them from time to time. Like how your family celebrated the town fiesta last year. Since we Filipinos show our gratitude to our patron saint during their feast day, we exert extra effort to show how grateful we are. But how are you going to express these thoughts and actions that took place in the past? You need to use the past forms of verbs in describing your experiences in the past. For today's lesson, you are expected to use the simple tense of regular verbs. Let us have first a short review. You are going to identify the present time's expression in the sentence. Write your answer in your notebook. Teacher will read the sentence and you are, go you are given 5 seconds to write your answer. Number 1. The Gomez usually cleans the entire house as preparation for fiesta. Your 5 seconds begin. 5, 4, 3, Okay, and see if you get the correct answer. The answer is usually. That's good. For number two, her mother plans the menu every day. What is the time expression used in the sentence? Five seconds. Five, start. four, three, two, one. The correct answer is every day. I hope you get it correctly. Number three. Lina attends her piano lesson once a week to serve as member of the choir for the Holy Mass. What is the time expression used? Five seconds. Five, go. Four, three, two, okay, one. The answer is once a week. Number four. Augie practices singing every afternoon. What is the present time expression used? Five. And the four, answer is three, every two, afternoon. One. That's good. For number five, Don Dodi visits his relative every fiesta day. What is the present time expression used? Five. Five seconds four, begin. Three. Two, one. And the answer is every fiesta day. I hope everybody got the correct answer. Now, children, I want you to watch this short video clip. What was celebrated? Okay, 
the celebrated Ibaan Town Fiesta. What did the people do in order to prepare for the fiesta? That's right! There are a lot of preparations for Fiesta Day. Now let us check if you know already our lesson for today. We will be checking your prior knowledge about our topic. I want you to choose the verb in the following sentences and write its past form. You are given five sentences. You are tasked to choose the verbs and write its past form. And you are given three minutes to do this. Your time starts now. Okay, let us check your work. For number one, the verb is trap. What is the past tense of the verb traps? Okay, it is trapped. For number two, penetrates. What is the past tense of penetrates? Penetrated. I hope you did it correctly. Number three, the verb is say. And the past tense of say is said. Number four, the verb is realized. And the past tense of realized is realized. Five, heals. And the past tense is healed. Great job! I hope you get it correctly. But if you do not, don't worry. Because this will be our lesson for today. Another activity is for you to identify the verbs in the puzzle. You are given three minutes to find the verbs in this puzzle. Let's see if you get the correct verbs from the puzzle. The verbs from the puzzle are wait, start, pick, walk, brush, plant, and wash. Now, let us discuss the simple past tense of verbs. The simple past tense of a verb is used to describe an action or condition that took place at a specific point in the past. Past events are important that we use them in telling and retelling stories. There are different ways of forming the past tense of verbs, depending on the types used as to regular verbs and irregular verbs. For today, we will be discussing the past tense of regular verbs. Regular verbs simply form their past tense by adding ed to their base forms. Examples, start, started, walk, walk, rest, rested, talk, talk, play, played, watch, watch. For some regular verbs that end in E, their past tense is formed by just adding the letter D. Examples, create, created, type, type, bake, bake, die, died, agree, agreed. And for some verbs that end in Y, Preceded by vowels, their past tense is formed by adding ed. Examples, enjoy, enjoyed, pray, prayed. And another rule is for some words that end in y, preceded by consonants. Their past tense is formed by changing y to i before adding ed. Examples, dry, dried, copy, copied. Time expressions such as yesterday, a week, month, or year ago, last month, last year, last weekend, last Monday, last night, 
the day before yesterday and two days, two months, two years ago, among others, are used when expressing past actions. Now, let's see if you understand our discussion. I have here a set of exercises for you to answer. Complete the sentences below by writing the simple past tense of the verb in the parentheses. Number one, Rhea decided to apply for a job in the city last week. You are given five, five seconds to four, write the three, past tense of two, the word one. decide. And the answer is decided. Next, she blanked in a factory for three years. What is the past tense of the verb work? Five, four, five seconds three, begin. Two, one. The answer is work. Number three. The trip happened a month ago. What is the past tense of the verb happen? Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is one. happened. Number four. Her family convinced her to change her plans. What is the past tense of the verb convince? Five, four, three, two, the answer is one. convince. Number five. Her father promised to support her on her new goals. What is the past tense of the verb promise? Five, four, three, two, the answer one. is Promise. Very good. I hope you got all five correct answers. Your next task is to complete the activities done by the child in the past days. Read his stories and complete the sentences that follow. Okay, let us check your answers. At 6 in the morning, the moment I woke up, I, the answer is, prayed to God. Number two, fix the beddings. Number three, brush my teeth. Four, wash my hands. Then I inspired the frontliners and the co-patient to think positively. Very good. Children, if you were Echo, how would you feel? What moral lesson did you learn from Echo? Of course, it is good that in times of crisis and in times of sickness, we stay to think positively. We must be resilient and never lose our hope and faith to God. Is that clear? Very good. Now, let us sum up what we have learned today. We have learned that the past tense of verb is used to describe a condition or an action that took place at a specific point in the past. Past events are important that we use them in telling and retelling stories. Regular verbs form their past either by adding D or ED to the base form of the verb. Now, let us see if you truly understand our lesson for today. I want you to get your learner's activity sheet in English week 8 and answer exercise number 3. You are going to answer it within 5 minutes. Your time begins.
Let us check your answers. Number one, Chef Chloe, the past tense of prepare is prepare. Chef Chloe prepared desserts for the party last week. Number two, Kuya Jerry delivered the package yesterday. The past tense of deliver is delivered. Number three, Nelly lists her name in the attendance sheet. The past tense of list is listed. Number four, the children watch a clown in a part birthday party. The past tense of watch is watch. Number five, the actors performed well during the last show. The past tense of performed is perform. Great job if you get five over five. I am very sure that you enjoy and learn our lesson for today. Okay, children, I hope you learned a lot for today. And for your reflection, I want you to fill out the reflection section on your learner's activity sheet. Please write what you understand and what you realize for today's lesson. Thank you very much, children. I am Teacher Jean saying God bless and always stay safe.